Good morning to all of you, sons and daughters of God. Good morning, good morning. We thank God for the gift of today. We thank God for His goodness in our lives. We worship Him. We exalt His holy name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Abba Father. We worship you and we exalt your holy name. We bow down before you. And we give you praise. There is no one like you, O God. There is no one beside you. There is no one that can take your place in our lives. Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Abba Father. Good morning, God of morning due devotion. Good morning. We worship you. We insult your holy name. And we bow down before you. There is no one like you in our lives and will continue to serve you. Thank you for your thought towards us, our thought of peace and love. Blessed be your holy name, Abba Father. Blessed be your holy name, Jesus. You are all that we have. And with you, we are more than conquerors. As we come on board, just begin to praise God. I welcome you, all of you, I welcome you. Oh, thank you, Jesus, for this glorious day. Thank you, Jesus, for this wonderful morning. Thank you, Lord, for your blessings upon our lives. We love you, Jesus. We love you, God. We love you, Elohim. We love you, Miracle Worker. In you we live, in you we have our being. Blessed be your holy name. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Our lives are in your hands, O oh God. We thank you and we worship you and we exalt your holy name. Abba Father, only you will serve. Abba Father, receive the glory and the praise of this day. Abba Father, we love you and we bow down before you. Have your way in our lives, O oh Jesus. Have your way in our body. Have your way in our soul. We, we are comfortable with you, O God. Child of God, I appreciate God. Say thank you, Jesus, for a bright new day. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your kindness, for your love, for your patience. And as we thank the Lord, begin to ask him for mercy. Lord, this Sunday morning, I ask for mercy in any way I have offended you. This Sunday morning, I come before you and I say, I am very sorry for my sins. Father, I'm very sorry in any way I have offended you. I'm very sorry in any way I have gone astray. Forgive me, O Lord. Forgive me, O Jesus. Forgive me, Elohim. Forgive me, Lord. Forgive me, Lord. Forgive me, Lord. Do not be angry with me, O oh God. Tell God to show you mercy. Father, show me mercy. Show me mercy, O oh God. Show me mercy, O oh God. Get, forgive me. Let the blood of Jesus Christ begin to wash wash you, wash your family. Oh, precious blood of Jesus Christ. Oh, precious blood of Jesus Christ. Oh, precious blood of Jesus Christ. Today is Sunday, and many of us are going for Sunday Mass. Uh, so we have to walk within the, our time. Heavenly Father, we are very sorry in any way we have offended you. Let the blood of Jesus Christ wash us clean. Let the blood of Jesus Christ sanctify us. Let the blood of Jesus Christ purify us. 
Malusi Karabakusha Kataba Sundale Karabakunda Eba Sundale Kaba. As you come on board, I appreciate God, I appreciate God and ask Him for mercy. Oh Lord, show us your mercy. We are your children, Lord. Show us your mercy and bless us with your spirit. Receive the Holy Spirit this morning. Let the Spirit of God take over your life. Let the Spirit of God take over your family. Let the Spirit of God take over your children. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. Somebody say, Holy Spirit, I welcome you. I welcome you into my life. I welcome you into my soul. I welcome you into my spirit. Oh, Malakatu Sikatareba Kosha. I connect my life to this fountain. I connect my life to this altar. I connect my family to this altar. Holy Spirit, have your way. Abba Father, have your way. The Lion of the tribe of Judah, have your way. The King of Kings, have your way. The Lord of Lords, have your way. There is no one like you, Lord. It's time to light up your candles. Father Lord, I light up my life this morning, and I pray that your God will bless me. I light up my candles this morning. I light up my life. I light up my children. I light up my family. Somebody say, I light up my brothers. I light up my sisters. I light up my relatives, wherever they are. I light them up in the mighty name of Jesus. I light them up, I light them up, I light them up, I light them up. I light up my husband, I light up my daughter, I light up my life, I light up my business, I light up my business career, I light up my relationship, I light up my life. Oh God, may darkness never rule me. May darkness never rule me. May darkness never rule me. I light up my life. Thank you, Jesus. Let your light shine. Let your light shine in my life. Child of God, I pray that the light of Jesus will shine in your life. Can somebody shout amen? Can somebody shout amen? Let the light of Christ shine in your life. Shoma D.K. Okme Teresa Badem Gewe. Elizabeth Carter. Let the light of Christ shine in your life. Ngozo Moya. Patricia Buse. Let this light bring healing. Let this light bring breakthrough. Let this light bring transformation. Let the new light, because darkness will never rule you. In Jesus' name. Malu Sakatabakoshi. I light up your entire being. I light up your family. I light up your siblings. I light up your brother. I light up your sister. Steve Peters, I light up all that concerns you. No darkness will ever rule you. No darkness will ever rule you. Lereba Koshi Kabasunda. I welcome you, my father. I know. This is a new day. It is a day of joy. Is somebody hearing me? Is somebody receiving this Sunday blessing? Is somebody receiving this Sunday blessing? In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let this light shine. Let your light shine. Let your light shine wherever you are. Say amen. Oh, la basunda leka. Let amen resound. Don't ever lose hope. No matter what you are passing through, God is on your side. As we join us, say amen. I light up your life. I light up your visions. I light up all that concerns you. There is something special about you that must come up. It will not go down. Your light will never go down. The light of your children will never go down. As we wake up this morning, we connect ourselves to Almighty God. And I decree and declare that your light will never go down. Today is a new day. And it is a day carrying His own grace. I light up your whole being in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, I light up your job. I light up your career. 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 I light up your career in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Your entire family, your children, I light all up in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. O Lord, arise. O Lord, arise and glorify your name. Do you know what? I light up your destiny. Hallelujah. <laughs> I light up your destiny. 
et la boussole de l'écarabacoucha, et boussole de l'équité. I light up your destiny. I light up your destiny. I light up your destiny. Yes, I light up your destiny. Somebody say, man, I light up your destiny. I light up this day for you. Can somebody shout amen? Masunda lekama, lekete masunda lekarabakusha rabakunda, ebra sundo lekere magunda, eba sakata, la sose kete, ele sekete magundo, la braso rebakusha. I light up your soul. Darkness will not cover you. Darkness of fear. Darkness of fear must leave you in the name of Jesus. Who is this person? Fear is knocking you down. The Lord said, I should light up your life. I light up your life. Darkness will never cover you again. I light up the, your life and the spirit of fear will disappear. There is always fear in darkness. There is always fear in darkness. When you are living in fear, that means that darkness is surrounding you without you knowing. I rebuke that spirit of darkness in the mighty name of Jesus. Is somebody saying amen? I rebuke that spirit of darkness. I rebuke that power of darkness. I rebuke it now. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus, somebody shout amen. Today is the day that the Lord has made for somebody. And I want to decree, I prophesy. Your blessings today will not pass you by. Your blessings today will not pass you by. If you are the one, shout amen. Your blessings of today will not pass you by. Your blessings of today will not pass you by. The healing of today will not pass you by. That healing of today will not pass you by. Say amen. The prosperity of today will not pass you by. The deal of today will not pass you by. Amen, everybody. The deal of today will not pass you by. The deal of today will not pass you by. The joy that God is releasing this morning will not pass you by. The promotion that heaven has packaged for you, even in the presence of your enemies, will not pass you by. Your promotion will not pass you by. Your transformation will not pass you by. The progress will not pass you by. Are you hearing me? Are you saying amen? Welcome to a new day. Welcome to a new day. A new day of joy. A new day of happiness. A new day of promotion. I repeat and I repeat. Your blessings will not pass you by. Your blessings will not pass you by. God has done it. God has done it. Hey, Leke Temasunda. I say to not pass you by. As you have woken up today, you have conquered them. As long as you have survived up to today, you have conquered them. I say you have conquered them. As many who never wanted you to excel, as you wake up today and the light is upon you, the God of MDD Square has established you. No one can uproot you. No one can uproot you. Is somebody shouting amen? No one can uproot you. You are unshakable and unbeatable. In the mighty name of Jesus, I welcome you. The team of our prayer today, the team of our prayer today is clear. The team of our prayer today is clear. As soon as I announce the team of our prayer today, all you need to do is to cast your net. All you need to do this morning is to cast your net. And the team of our prayer today, what the Lord will be doing for somebody today, what our God will be doing for you today is glorious. You glorious. And before I announce the theme of our prayer today, the package of today, the deal of today, I want to bless your hand. I bless your hand in Jesus' name. I bless your hand in Jesus' name. I bless your hand in Jesus' name. This morning, I bless your hand in Jesus' name. I bless your hand in Jesus' name. As many who are connecting to this altar, who are connecting to this altar of fire this morning, your hands are blessed. Am I talking to somebody? Your hands are blessed. Can you shout amen? Let your body, let your soul and spirit know that there is a man that is coming out from them. Somebody say amen. Say amen. This day we bless you. This day we favor you. I bless your hand in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And amen. The theme of our prayer today is, 
I prophesy it out into you. What the Lord started through you must be completed. What the Lord started in you must be completed. Open your mouth and declare it. What the Lord started in me must be completed. What the Lord started through me must be completed. What the Lord started through you must be completed. Child of God, did you hear this? This is a pronouncement for your sake, for you, for you. What the Lord started to you must be completed. The devil cannot stop it. What God has started in your life and what he has started through you for humanity, what he has started through you must be completed because today your hands will carry the power of God. If you are the one, write amen ten times. Shout amen ten times. Receive it now, my children. Receive it now. What the Lord started through you. The Lord has started to use you to change your family. The Lord has started to use you to bless your family. The Lord has started to use you to change your children. What the Lord has started through you must be completed. The devil cannot cut you short. Now, everybody, cast your net. Wherever you are, cast your net. Hurry up because you are going to Sunday Mass. Some people begin their Mass by 6.30, some 5 o'clock, some 5.30, some 6 o'clock. So we must do the... I don't want to break money deal. That is why even myself, I'm driving far for money mass. Open your mouth and shout amen. <clears throat> Open your mouth and shout amen. What God has started through you must be completed. Must be completed. Must be completed. What God started through you must be completed. Whether the devil likes it or not. What God started through you and what he has started in you must be completed. You must be a finished project. Somebody say, I must be a finished project. I must finish my project. And I must be a finished project. Are you understanding the two angles? One, what God started through you must be completed. That means you must be a finished project. God started it, he must perfect it. God has started it, it must reach completion. If you believe, shout amen. If you believe, shout amen. What God started through you must be completed in the mighty name of Jesus. And what you have started, you must be a finished project and you must finish your project. If you are the one, shout amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Now listen to me. Everything good is expected to graduate. Everything good is expected to graduate. And where there is no graduation, it is a sign that something went wrong. So if you are not growing, if you are not graduating, it means that something is wrong somewhere. So my prayer for you this morning is that you will graduate. Your vision will graduate. Your destiny will graduate. If you are the one the Lord is blessing, let me hear you shout amen. Somebody say, I am a finished project. I must finish my project. God must finish what he has started in me. What the Lord started through me must be completed. What I have started through the grace of God must be completed. I must finish my project. Somebody shout amen. Yes, is there anything... You started but couldn't continue. Is there anything you started but the thing is shaking anyhow? You could not continue, it's shaking anyhow. Is there anything you started but couldn't continue? Maybe you began something with the intention to complete it, but along the way, along the line, you lost interest in what you started. The interest of disappeared. Child of God. I pray that the Holy Spirit will rekindle in you the fire of that project. You will not just lose interest on something good you started. You will not just lose interest on something good you started. Let God revive your spirit. Let God revive your spirit. I call on God to revive your spirit. Let your spirit be revived. You must finish your project. They will not mock you. You must finish your project. 
I say you must finish your project. I repeat, you must finish your project. Receive it now in the mighty name of Jesus. You must finish your project. I say you must finish your project. You must finish your project. Somebody shout amen. Open your mouth and say amen. You must finish your project. You must finish your project. You must finish your project. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, child of God, receive the grace. Receive the grace. Let your interest in that vision manifest again. As you join us this morning, I am blessing you with the grace to finish your project. I am blessing you with the grace to complete what the, you started. You cannot stop halfway. Am I talking to somebody? You will never stop halfway. 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 Receive the grace to finish your project. And may God finish what is started in you. While God is perfecting his work in your life, the little project you started, I say receive the grace. Receive the grace to finish that project. Receive the power to finish that project. If you are the one, shout amen. You have a dream. That dream must come true. You have a dream. That dream must come true. You have a dream. That dream must come true. Receive the grace in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive the grace in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive the grace in the mighty name of Jesus. You will finish that project. You will finish that project. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will complete that project. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will complete that project. Listen to me. Or are you struggling to bring to completion the actualization of your dreams? You are struggling. To, you are struggling. You are struggling. By the power in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, I come against every power that is struggling with you. I come against every kingdom that is struggling with you. By the grace of God, you must finish your project. I repeat and I repeat. By the grace of the Almighty God, you must finish your project. You must finish your project. You must complete your project. You must complete your project. You must complete your project. If you are the one, shout amen. I say shout amen. The project of training your children. The project of training your children. The project of training your children. The project of building your house. The project of building your house. The project of establishing establishing your sons and daughters. You must finish your project. You must finish your project. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the glorious name of Jesus. You must finish your project. Let God arise. Let God arise. Let God arise. You must finish your project. Let God arise. You must finish your project. Let heaven arise. You must finish your project in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the glorious name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, I know you can do this. I know you are blessing us. This morning, we receive the grace to finish our project. We receive the blessings to complete our project. Child of God, listen to me. In our country, Nigeria, finding it easy to fully establish some things is yes. If you come to our country, Nigeria, we are finding it very difficult to establish democracy. It's difficult. We don't know why, and it's affecting us. And we are crying every day. Look at what happened yesterday. People were injured, people were beaten, people because it is difficult. Now we need God. We need God to, to perfect it. Whatever goal, good thing. Vision that is not progressing is dangerous. Whatever that is not progressing is dangerous. So we are calling on God to give us the grace to perfect what we have started and let what He has started in us be completed. We are going to build our life on, 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 on the grace of God. The grace to perfect the vision he has given to us. I remember when Zerubbabel was about to build the temple in Zechariah chapter 4, read it. Zechariah chapter 4, verse 8 and 9. Zechariah chapter 4, verse 8 and 9. Then the word of the Lord came to me. 
the hands of Zerubbabel have laid the foundation of this temple. His hands will also complete it. Then you will know that the Lord Almighty has sent me to you. The hand of Zerubbabel has laid this foundation. You see why I bless your hand? I said your hand has, uh, has laid the foundation. Your hand will complete it. Say amen. Your hand laid the foundation. Your hand will complete it. No matter the pressure. No matter the attack. No matter what the enemy and the, how the oppositions are coming. No matter the spiritual opposition. No matter the financial opposition. No matter the physical opposition. No matter the ancestral opposition. But this morning I declare that you will complete your project. You will finish your project. You will finish up your project. If you believe, shout amen. God will give you the grace. Heaven will give you the grace. Our Father will give you the grace. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the glorious name of Jesus. Your project will come to completion. Your project will come to completion. Today, I am granting you the victory over every opposition. Opposition to your project. If you believe, shout amen. If you believe, shout amen. I don't know the kind of spiritual opposition you are having. I don't know the kind of... The Bible says, what are you, O mountain, before Zerubbabel? What are you, O mountain, before the children of God? Please put your name there. What are you, O mountain, before Father Tibia? Put your own name. What are you, O mountain, before Father Tibia? The Bible says, what are you, O mountain, before Zerubbabel? God calls the obstacles mountain. Zechariah chapter 4 verse 7. God calls them mountain. What are you, O mountain, before Rita? What are you, O mountain, before Mamani? What are you, O mountain, before Ngozi, Patricia, Elizabeth, eh, Kalista? What are you, O mountain, before Carol? What are you, O mountain, before Esther? What are you, O mountain, before Teresa? What are you, O mountain, before Steve? What are you, O mountain, before Justina? What are you, O mountain, before Ngeji? What are you, O mountain, before Ifai? What are you, O mountain, before Isioma? What are you, O mountain, before George? What are you, O mountain, before Rosemary? What are you, O mountain, before Mata? What are you, O mountain? What are you, what are you, O mountain? What are you? The Bible says, it is not my power. It's not my mind. So you will become a level ground. That mountain must disappear. Child of God, I pray. That mountain before you must disappear. If you believe, shut the man. That mountain before you must disappear. That mountain before you must disappear. That mountain before you must disappear. In the mighty name of Jesus. That mountain before you must disappear. I don't know the mountain that is on your way to fulfill your destiny. What are your mountain before Father Tibier? What That question is a dangerous question. That question is challenging their foundation. What are you, O mountain? What are you, O mountain? What are you, O mountain? Financial mountain. Political mountain before us. God is going to level you. God is going to level you. God is going to level you. Child of God, that mountain before you is leveled in Jesus' name. That mountain before your family is leveled. That mountain before your children is leveled. In the mighty name of Jesus, your success will manifest. Your wisdom will manifest. Your relationship will grow. Your effort will be blessed. Child of God, we are standing on the blessing that says that what the Lord has started in you must be completed. The hand of Zerubbabel has laid this foundation. The hand of Zerubbabel must complete it. The hand of Zerubbabel has laid this foundation. The hand of Zerubbabel must complete it. I pray that God will give you the grace to complete your project. May you experience spiritual growth as well as physical growth. If you believe, shout amen. If you believe, shout amen. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the grace that you have released upon us. Thank you for your blessings. For we shall see the end of this journey. And we shall end well. Child of God, you will end well. I say you will end well. By the grace of God, you will end well. This vision of yours that is in line with God will come to completion. That mountain before you must be leveled in the name of Jesus. That mountain before your family must level in the name of Jesus. That mountain before your children must go down in the name of Jesus. That mountain before your life must go down. That mountain must go down. That mountain must go down. If you believe shot, amen. If you believe shot fire, you believe shot fire. Let the fire go hit that mountain. If you believe shot fire, a kata sakata. A prasuna le kata. What are you, O mountain? <laughs> My What are you, O mountain? Prasuna le kata. What are you, O mountain? Before the children of God. You must go down in Jesus' name. Amen. Child of God, I want to quickly congratulate you because the grace to complete that thing you started has been given to you. The grace to end well. The grace to complete that project. Receive it now in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. That mountain before you, no matter how it has manifested, must be put down. If you believe, shout amen seven times. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Elohim. Thank you, Adonai. Thank you, mighty man in battle. Thank you, lily of the valley. You are God, you are not a man. We give you praise and we worship you and we declare that you are our God. We say you are our God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for what you have done. Let your fire take over. Let your fire take over. That mountain before you must go down. You are going to fulfill your destiny. That opposition, that opposition must go down. That opposition must go down in Jesus' name. Child of God, let me bless your items because today is Sunday. We got to go for service. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Lift up your sword. Heavenly Father, I thank you and I beg you today to bless this sword and through the use of this sword glorify your name. Through the use of this sword give us that power to finish up our project. May we not die on the way. May we not be put to shame. Give us the anointing to perfect the work you have started in us. May we fulfill our destiny. Give us the grace to fulfill our destiny. Bless this sword to daily increase our value. May God use this sword to increase your value. Multiply your value that you will be able to fulfill your destiny. Whatever you are lacking to fulfill your destiny, to complete your project, may God supply. Whatever you are lacking to complete your project, may heaven supply. Whatever you are lacking to perfect your project, May God supply through the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We thank God for today. And one of the things that the enemy can use to stop us is sickness. Bring out your water. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of this water. And for the gift of the water your children are carrying. I beg you this morning to give us good health. Let this water transfer good health into our life. Oh God, use this water to bless us with good health. Oh God, use this water 
to bless your children with good health. Use this water to multiply strength in us. We need the strength to work harder. We need the strength to push our vision. We need the strength to live. Father, even though we have to, to be alone to fulfill our destiny, give us the strength. Even though we have to be alone to fulfill our destiny, give us the strength. Help us not to wallow in ignorance. Help us not to wallow in ignorance. Give us the strength, O oh God, to fulfill our destiny. Lord, we surrender ourselves to you. Let there be healing this morning. I know you are faithful, God. Let someone be healed. Let your children be healed through the intake of this water. Let your healing power take over their lives. As they drink this water or take their bath through this water, let them be healed. Child of God, be healed in Jesus' name. May this water flush away every sickness, every pain, pain in the hand, pain on the waist, pain in the stomach, pain on your leg, pain on your head. Let this water break the yoke. May God use this water to break the yoke. Receive strength. You will surely fulfill your destiny. You will not die prematurely. You will not die prematurely. I bless this water to carry the liquid fire. To carry the fire of God into your body for purification. Sanctification. Masakatalekata. In the mighty name of Jesus. Can somebody say amen? Somebody just have to say amen. E basunda le karakata sekat. Brosundo le karabakosha. Father, bless this water for supernatural healing. Healing from your true Lord God. Let every foreign thing existing in your body through the intake of this water, through the contact with this water, be flushed away, be destroyed in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Drink the water and be healed. Wash away every spirit of disfavor. People will remember you and favor you. People will remember you and favor you. Now lift up your mantle. Heavenly Father, I ask you this morning to have mercy upon us. Bless this mantle. Continue to empower our mantle for signs, wonders, and miracles. Continue to use this mantle to demonstrate your powers. Wherever we go to with this mantle, let your power go with us. Let your power go with us, O oh God. Use this mantle to disgrace the devil. All that the devil has accumulated with all his powers. Use ordinary clothes to tell the devil, shut up. Use this ordinary clothes to put down that mountain. Every mountain that the enemy has placed before your children must be leveled in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for what you are doing in my life. Thank you for pulling down every obstacle, every opposition. Thank you for the grace you have given to me today. Thank you, Father, for working in my life. Thank you for this Sunday morning, a new week, a new week. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Can you have your oil now? I bless this oil today. Anointing to finish your project. Amen. Hallelujah. Anointing to finish your project. Anointing to complete your project. You started it, you will accomplish it. You started it, 
you will finish it up. Receive the anointing to finish your project. By the grace of God, you will perfect your project. Now, I, I pray that through this anointing, may God give you the strength, may God give you the grace to accomplish your project. May God perfect it now, miraculously, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for your work. Thank you, Elohim, for your work in us. Child of God, through the anointing of today, you will complete your project. You will finish your project. You will accomplish your project in the mighty name of Jesus. You will accomplish that project as long as it is the will of God. Receive the anointing. Receive the oil that will enable you to complete your project. Receive the oil that will enable you to complete your project in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Father, through this anointing, may we perfect our project in the name of Jesus. May we complete our project in the name of Jesus. May we accomplish accomplish that assignment that you gave to us in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And not yourself. Yes, Lord. Give me the grace. May God give you the grace to perfect your projects. Thank you, Jesus, for the grace that is at work in me. Thank you for the power. Now lift up your candles. Father, we come against every opposition. I don't know the kind of opposition in your life. I don't know the kind of opposition oppressing you. But today, I come against every opposition that is working hard to make sure that you do not accomplish your destiny. I don't know the power that is standing on your way. I don't know the power that is oppressing you. There are so many people that are working against you. You think they are with you, they are not with you. I pray that God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit will fight for you. I lift up this fire to fight for you. I pray that God will destroy every mountain on your way. Let this fire destroy every mountain on your way. Let God show you favor and use this fire to destroy every mountain on your way. Every opposition on the way of your children, every opposition on the way of your destiny, I put them down now in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we attack them. Oh Lord, we attack them. Wherever they are, every demonic opposition satanic opposition that is working against your project, working against your project, working against your building project, working against your marital project, working against your financial project, every power from the pit of hell that is challenging your project will attack them with this fire. Every power that is attacking your project, as we put off this fire, we attack them now. Let the flame strike them down and destroy their powers. Let the flame destroy their powers in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. Go. Child of God, go. Press that button now. It is time for war. Begin to attack them now. As you press the button, sharing this broadcast, release bombs into their tent. I attack every power opposing me. I attack every man opposing my destiny. I attack every demonic opposition. I attack every spiritual opposition manifesting in form of lack of money. Destroy them now. Go in the name of Jesus. Go in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, thank you. Thank you because you have given me the grace. You have given me the anointing to perfect my project. You have given me the grace, the ability to perfect my project. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. The hand of Zerubbabel has laid the foundation. And the hand of Zerubbabel will surely complete it. 
Child of God, you will complete it. Release the button now. Amen and amen. E kato se kata. Le brako sharabakondo. E masunda le karabakoshi. Basa kata kata. Le kete makosha. E brasondo li kete. E brasondo li kete makunda. La sende li kete kete. E kato se kete rema. Le re kete makosha. E basonda le karaba. E la kondo se kete. Ma kondo se kata. E brako sharabakosha. Father in heaven, no opposition can stand this fire. Somebody shed now. No opposition can challenge this fire. Thank you, Father, for what you have started. You will perfect it. We are more than conquerors. Yes, Lord, we are more than conquerors. Child of God, receive the strength. Receive the ability to perfect it. That project you started, you will complete it. Not by your power but by the strength that God is giving to you. Not by your own physical energy, by divine strength. God will knock down all the obstacles. Heaven will knock down all the obstacles. If you believe, shut amen. If you believe, shut amen. If you believe, shut amen. It is well in Jesus' name. Amen. Somebody congratulation. 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 Our God will not keep quiet. Our God will help you. That, that project you started, you will complete it. The hand that laid the foundation will finish it. No opposition. No opposition. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. I pray that God will give you uncommon favor. Assistance. If there's any assistance you need, may God bless you with that assistance. May God bless you with that support. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Congratulations. 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 La Katasa. Receive now the grace to start and the grace to accomplish. The grace to begin and the grace to end where. You will not end in shame. You will end where. You will not stop halfway. You will end well. This is grace. We follow you. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Child of God, congratulations. Bye-bye. <laughs> Psalm 35 and Psalm 36. Psalm 35 and Psalm 36. Let's go for Sunday Mass. Bye-bye. Psalm 35 and Psalm 36. Closing earlier today, more than ever. Congratulations. The grace to end well. The grace to accomplish. You have it already. It's upon you. Bye-bye. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday to you all. Receive it. <laughs> you have started it. You will complete. Pray for me when you go to church. Bye. Sema Don TV Sema Don TV Sema Don TV Reaching the world Sema Don Television Reaching the world